Hey everybody, welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up guns and gear reviews. Today's the day we're beginning a cool series of videos where we're going to check out whether or not these, right here, air gun moderators, can not only make your air gun more quiet, but we're going to answer the question, do they make it more accurate? I believe that they can. But here on Shooting Gear Reviews, we got to get more scientific than just a feeling. We're going to take these out, we're going to try them on several different air guns, and we're going to see, does an air gun moderator make your air gun more accurate? In this first video, we're going to be using the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 Tactical and 22 caliber, and one of these 0DBs right here. We're going to take it down and test it at 100 yards, and I think the proof will be in the paper. Let's go check it out. So this was our experiment today. Does a moderator improve your accuracy? And I'm going to say that at least in my limited experiment here today and in my other experience so far, generally yes, these do stabilize the air at the end of the muzzle and can result in a improvement in accuracy. I think that was demonstrated for us to some degree here today. These two groups here were shot using this 0DB moderator. Of course, caliber gun tactical, 100 yards. And we got this result right there with the heavies and this result right there with the 1813s. Now take out this one sort of flyer here and maybe the 1813s actually did a little bit better. As you can see, I'm dealing with just a little bit of a variable breeze just at times. I mean, it seems like out here at 100 yards, it makes a little bit of a difference on that right to left. Uh, now, both of these are seven shot groups. I, I mean, I'd be pretty happy with either of those groups uh, for a 100 yard group. Um, definitely acceptable. So what happened next? Well, we took this guy off and I did the same thing, repeated myself. So I got this group here with the heavies, the 25 grains. Now, this this is nice and snug right here. That's a nice little group. But what happened is we did end up having a flyer down here and a flyer over here. Now, I don't know if you can attribute that inconsistency to just the removal of the moderator or if those were two maybe less than awesome pellets. I didn't notice any bent skirts while I was loading the mag. I tried to pay attention. Uh, so there we have a slight anomaly on the accuracy and same kind of thing down here with the 1813s. This is our group right here with the 1813s. I mean, I'd say it increased by about 50%. We had a flyer up here, flyer here, a couple fall outside the, the red box. I was aiming to get them all in. So, um, you know, not a, a drastically worse than, than this first group, but you can see that it is not as good. So, um, 
you know, I could probably do this over and over and over again all day and shoot a group with this and it would be slightly better than shooting it with without this. And I, I can say that from experience because I've done a lot of shooting. So there you have it guys. There it is. The results on target. Does one of these improve your accuracy? I'm going to say that yes, the answer is it does. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That confirmed my suspicions that adding one of these can definitely affect your accuracy and in my experience, usually to the positive side. So we're going to keep going with this experiment. We've got more air guns lined up to test this with, and I have a feeling we're going to find similar results, but I think it's going to definitely be interesting to see how the next air gun performs with and without the moderator. And uh, you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. But that's it for today's video. If you like this video today with the caliber gun make sure that you definitely check out the review i'll put the link right up here caliber gun cricket tactical right here check out the review but that's it for now guys i'll see you over there